All right, my name is Quinn Evans, and my thesis statement for this project is we need to remove the speed bumps from Northridge so that we can protect our school, community, and our environment. These clips are me driving around and hitting the speed bumps. In the Sorry. I don't know if you hit faster Sorry. than that speed. Ah, uh, go faster. Let's try it. Go the speed limit. <laughs> so obviously you can tell from the video of me in the back seat that the speed bumps they're not good we have to we have to get rid of them in order for our parking lot to be the most effective that it can be because driving through the parking lot you don't be jumping around and it's just it's not safe to the students of the school and yeah in my research i got a quote from the advanced auto care center and they stated that it can cause damage to your tires because when you're going over the speed bump you have to slow down and like speed up and then if you're going fast it just kind of collides with your tires and it'll mess up your tires so that's one bad thing that can happen from having the speed bumps. Also, it can mess up your shock system just from going over the bumps in, in a car that isn't made to go like off-roading. It can mess up your shocks. It can also ruin your steering because as you're driving and hitting the speed bumps, it can just it just messes up. And Overall, the speed bumps cause more damage to your car than you'd really think. Also, when you're going over them, it can scrape the bottom of it and mess up your emission system. It just causes all sorts of damage to your car as you keep going over them. Another quote that I got from Erin Stewart, she, she was talking mostly about the how they're environmentally unfriendly. She talked about as you're going up to the speed bump, you have to slow down. And then after, people tend to speed back up. And because of the slowing and stopping repeatedly, it causes your car to kick out more emissions into the sky. And it just is, it acts as like a pollutant almost because it makes your car just kick out more. And in our school parking lot, it's like quadrupled because there's so many cars and they're all stopping and slowing and they have to stop and slow for other traffic already. And they're going over the speed bumps when everyone's going out of the school. The speed bumps just cause so much of a, like distraction towards all of the other drivers and it makes it inconvenient. Another really valid point that she brought up is that it slows down emergency vehicles. So if a fire truck or an ambulance or something needed to get in the school, they would have to slow down for the speed bumps and they're just they can be put in places where they're useful but there's just so many that it's been taken to another level in Northridge and in order to keep our cars safe and the traffic flowing better and this air better because it acts as a pollutant it, it just it'd be better to get rid of all of them and all of this came from an article called crude dangerous and bad for the environment speed bumps must go and the rest of these videos are just interviews that I have from other students and how they feel about the speed bumps in the school. What do you think about the speed bumps? Um, I don't like them because they mess up my car and they're really annoying when it's like 7 a.m. and I'm super tired. What do you think about the speed bumps? I think they're very nice incorporation into the school building because when people are going super fast, they hit the speed bump and it slows their car down. That means they won't hit another kid because if they hit another kid, they could get super hurt, but I don't want them to get hurt. So I think the students are very good incorporation to the school parking lot building. Hey, how do you feel about the speed bumps? They suck. They're terrible. The worst thing ever. Yeah. You hit them, boom, you're done for. Hey, how do you feel about the speed bumps? Straight garbage, man. Oh. Mess up your car, bad, bro. Your axles and stuff, not good. Okay, how do you feel about the speed bumps? I don't like them. Oh. Bye, speed bump. <laughs> I'm recording. Oh. I hate the speed bumps are so inconvenient. <laughs> they, like, ruin my dad's car. Stop! Hey, Seth, how do you feel about the speed bumps? I don't, I don't like them. I think it creates 
dangerous situations in the parking lot, and if we eliminated them, then the parking lot would overall be a better place for students and faculty alike. <laughs> hey, how do you feel about the speed bumps? Bro, I be walking. No, how do you feel about it's the speed so bumps? It's so big. Oh. Ah! <laughs> ah! And it hurts. How do you feel about the speed bumps? I think Northridge should remove the speed bumps. So basically, what you should get out of this video is that everyone I interviewed thought we needed to get rid of the speed bumps. All the articles and research that I got showed why we shouldn't have the speed bumps. And pretty much, we should just get rid of the speed bumps.